Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a review on the Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock. Here we go, in all of its glory. So, I've just replaced the batteries with some fresh ones. I've had these ones in there for the year and a half that I've owned this disc lock. On the box it was advertised that it would last up to six months. And these lasted a year and a half. As you can see, they're not in the best condition and we'll be getting onto that shortly. So, here we have our disc lock and our key. It comes with three keys. So let's just uh, unlock it. And there we go. We have the pins and we have the main body of the disc lock. It's quite a sturdy one. It's a very sturdy disc lock. Drinking game. Take a shot every time I say disc lock. The pins are also fairly sturdy. They have some weight to them. They're very solid. And if anyone tries to cut through this, they're not going to have a good time because it will take them quite a while to cut through these thick pins. I believe they are 10 millimeters. So, main body of the lock itself. Let's just put these off to the side for now. We have a key in there. Let's just remove that. Let's take this thing apart, shall we? I've had some problems with rust. Let's just pull the buzzer out. Set this down. Here we have the buzzer, and on the back side we have the battery compartment. I'm not sure if you can hear that slight clicking, but if I can just get this off. There we go. Here we have the six brand new batteries. I've had a bit of an issue. This disc lock is advertised as being waterproof. It is only exposed to the elements whenever I go off somewhere because at night I keep the bike locked in the garage. But this being in the UK, you do get rain very often and the bike does get left outside very often when I'm out of the house. And yeah, as a result, you get some rusting issues. In fact, you can see on the, the bit of paper here, this is all rust. Um, in fact, I had some moisture in here, which is why the old batteries look like this, if the camera will focus. You can clearly see that there has been some sort of an issue with the batteries. Some of them are rusted and burnt. There was a short circuit due to moisture infiltration, which isn't really what you want in an alarm disc lock. Other than the water issues, I've also had some issues with rust, as you can see. There's quite a bit of rust on the pins, and quite a bit of rust on the inside of the lock itself. I'm not sure you can quite see in there yeah even the retaining screw here that's rusted in fact i'm gonna have to replace this until i find another disc lock because as it stands right now it will be completely demolished if i keep taking this thing apart and it's i don't really want to go through the effort of having to drill this thing out so there's that so let's put this thing back together put the cover back on this slide in put the retaining screw back in it's easier to disassemble so that's a bit of a bonus and like I said when if I unlock the thing first that will probably be useful <laughs> when the lock is active Removing the pin, removing the retaining screw rather, will not allow you to just slide the tray out. You cannot do this because the pins go straight through it and this way you won't just be able to remove the batteries and effectively deactivate the alarm. So right now the, the disc lock is active. So if I give it a bit of a... 
it won't go off. I'm not sure if you can hear that. It's making a, a light crackling sound. And it's not going off. Yeah. Too much rust. Too much water. I've had other disc blocks in the past. Uh, Oxford ones and a couple from another brand that I don't really remember right now. Uh, but the previous disc blocks I've had from Oxford, they did not have any rust issues. This one, funny enough, being one that has electronics in it, does have rust issues. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. In the future, I will be investing in possibly an alarm system, a standalone alarm system for the bike. This lock, um, I shall be keeping it for locking a chain. I have a chain that I sometimes carry with me when I go into less than favorable areas, let's say. And I use the chain to wrap around the pole and I lock it with this disc lock here. The chain came with the lock, but I found that this one's a little bit thicker, has slightly thicker pins, is a little bit more sturdy, and sometimes the alarm works. <laughs> Never mind the fact that it should work all the time, but we'll ignore that for now. All in all, the Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock, the 10mm one, it's a good lock, but it's a bad alarm system. That being said, thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'll see you next time. Bye!